So there's this product that's trending the internet right now, and it is a Ouija board, but it's a Ouija board designed for Christians. It is a Holy Spirit Ouija board. I've been seeing this all over X. I've been seeing all of this all, all over TikTok and Instagram. And here's what is so mind-blowing about this, is that so many people have so little discernment about what a Ouija board actually does, and then all of a sudden you're just going to slap a Christian label on top of it, and now it's something that's okay to partake in. I'm going to share in this video the actual board, which, by the way, you it's not like so you can purchase it from uh, you know some obscure shop or some obscure website. This is like readily available to purchase on Amazon.com, which is very interesting to me. I'm going to share with you a little bit about this product and why it seems to be blowing up for people. But then I'm going to share with you at the end of this video why the Ouija board is not a game. It's not fun. It's not entertainment. It is a direct channel to the demonic, and it is leaving so many people destroyed because of their lack of knowledge. So I'm going to show you exactly what this thing looks like on Amazon.com. So here it is. The Holy Spirit board. Communicate directly with Jesus Christ. Right here on Amazon, everybody. Isn't that amazing? So what is the Ouija board? The Ouija board, as you can see, it's the more traditional one. I can, I'll show you. This is, this is the more traditional one. I'll pull it up for you. So th this is like, you've probably seen this in movies. You've probably seen it in TV shows. It's a game. It's a game, quote unquote, that is used to channel spirits. So let's say your grandma died and you want to talk to your, your late grandma or your grandpa or your parent or child. And out of the grief of missing that individual, I can't blame you, by the way, wanting to try and talk to that individual. That's why a lot of people get into this. This is why a lot of people go to psychics so they can channel the dead, talk to the dead. Some high school students or college students would just do this for fun. They think that it's just a game, and they think it's harmless, and so they'll set up candles, they'll turn off the lights, you'll grab this little piece in the middle, you'll talk to the spirits, and then allow the spirits to guide that instrument, covering different you know, letters and numbers, and that's how you know basically you get your answers from the dead. As you can probably imagine... If you have any sense of a belief in, in some sort of reality beyond what we see in the physical world, a spiritual world, an unseen world, you'd probably imagine that this is not a good idea. And I'll show you exactly how this, is, this has really negatively affected some people in a second. But now what you're seeing is it's kind of like Monopoly. Like you got Florida Monopoly. You got NFL no Monopoly. You have a version of the Monopoly game to reach any demographic. And now what you have is a version of this game, only $29.95, by the way, to reach a Christian audience. I would just say to reach an undiscerning and unbiblically mature Christian audience. Because look at it. It says communicate directly with Jesus Christ. By the way, if Jesus looked like this guy, Look, he looks like E.T. for crying out loud. That that looks freaky. I, I don't want to talk to that guy at all. And by the way, Jesus Christ doesn't even have a gray beard because he died at 33 years old at the prime age of 33. And uh, that's to show that he, he doesn't age. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. But it's the same thing. Like you got, it's the same board. And it's it's for the same purpose of trying to channel. this. The communication behind this is to channel Jesus, but man, you're going to see shortly. I'm going to show you some scripture about why this is a bad idea, but let's read some of the reviews. It absolutely brilliant. Ignore the bad reviews. I'm a collector of spirit boards and love the idea of this one. It's actually well-made board uh, is very easy to use and slides perfectly. The cross and the jewel in the crown of this board, for sure. It's beautifully made a lot of that. A lot of thought went into making the cross slides Blah, blah, blah. You can use this board like any other spirit board. Just make sure to protect yourself. Oh, my gosh. This is so foolish. To protect yourself by saying Archangel Michael prayer. Have a Bible open on Psalm 91 to keep any astral nasties away. This is like, this is straight up playing with fire, man. The idea of like people know, hey, if you do this, you're actually going to have encounters with different spirits so you know just have a bible open to psalm 91 
you know, God doesn't operate by superstition. Like you're not going to protect yourself by having a relic over here and a cross over here and then just say some sort of mumbo jumbo prayer to Michael, the archangel. By the way, you and I, as from, from what we see in the scriptures, are not even supposed to be praying to angels. We're supposed to be talking to God himself through the mediator, Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit. You have the ability just so you know, you have the ability to talk to God and to hear from God all on your own simply because of the finished work of Jesus Christ dying on the cross for your sins, washing you clean from all of your iniquity, filling you with the power of the Holy Spirit, and that is how you have a direct channel to God. You don't need a board like this, but what this board is going to do, it's bait from Satan to get you off the path that's actually going to lead the life and to get you listening to false to false spirits, they're going to take you down a route of a doctrine of demons. Move over, Ouija board. If you get a portal, we all do. And then this one person gave a, a Jerry. Someone named Jerry gave a one-star review. I carefully read the reviews before getting this product, and I based the reviews on my purchase. I was hoping I would be able to talk to Jesus, and so far, nothing. This is so disappointing. All I keep is getting some raspy. What? Look at that. That's insane. All I get is talking to some raspy voiced man. So these people know that they're like, they, they are going to encounter something or someone. And, but it's really crazy to me that like, and here's what I would say after reading that one comment, people are hungry for a genuine encounter with God. You were created for a genuine encounter with God, but you're not going to get it through this. Okay. One, one more. I always thought I was going to hell until Jesus explained Genesis 19, 33 through 37 through my Holy Spirit board. Now I'm guilt-free in living my best life. Thank you, Holy Spirit Games. Thank you, Jesus. That, that is weird. Oh, gosh. That is so weird. Okay. Before I show you this crazy story about why you should absolutely run from grabbing one of these things if you have one in your house you should take it out back and you should burn it like you do not play with these things i'm going to share with you a story about how some young people got into this and they were actually hospitalized for doing it but here's what i want to share with you like this spirit is coming through every area of our culture. It's coming through mainstream media. It's coming through politics. It's coming through the education system. And it's coming through big business. If you remember this, this was literally drawn by the artist who was hired by Target to do all of their Pride Month, you know, all of their Pride Month uh, clothing designs last year in 2023. And as you can see, this they don't think they sold this in Target, but this is the same artist who did all of this other, all this other Pride stuff. Satan respects pronouns you better believe that that spirit that people are hiring to do all this other stuff and maybe make it like a more tamed level tame it down kind of like you know you got this game over here it's a tamed down version of the ouija board no dude let me tell you the same spirit behind the fall the same spirit that wants to drag people to hell is the same spirit that we're letting in with these little creaks in the door same spirit behind this junk. And you and I have an opportunity every single day to make decisions about who we're going to fund. Are we going to fund people that are putting their weight behind this sort of demonic agenda, this sort of uh, woke ideology? Well, you and I can make decisions every day to switch up our purchasing decisions so that we can stop funding people that really don't care about you and me. They care about their bottom line and at worst are probably actually trying to propagate this stuff to get people off the track that's going to lead them to eternal life. I want you to check out switchwithcap.com, and I want you to talk to our team. If you're interested in making a dent in this fight by switching your purchasing decisions from big box companies like Walmart, Target, and even Amazon by purchasing things from made-in-America manufacturers that are non-toxic and non-woke, go to switchwithcap.com to learn how you can make a big difference with your purchases every day. Now, I'm going to share that story that I was telling you about. Do you guys remember this? This was almost a year ago, like to, to the day as I'm doing this video. 28 girls hospitalized with anxiety after playing with the Ouija board. This was on the New York Post. This was on Fox News. This was on a variety of different news sources. Uh, March 7th, 2023. Watch this. 
They're not in good spirits. Nearly 30 schoolgirls have been hospitalized with anxiety attacks after allegedly playing with Ouija boards at their school in Columbia. There were 28 possible cases of anxiety in school students, said Hugo Torres, head of the Galeris Educational Institute in Galeris, where the incident took place, per Jam Press. According to the outlet, alarm bells went off after the girls reportedly suffered signs of fainting, anxiety, and other symptoms at school. They were subsequently admitted to a municipal hospital accompanied by parents and school faculty. Info on the students' students' diagnoses has yet to be released. However, many parents blame the in-school use of Ouija boards. Coming to a school near you, by the way, if schools are so interested in helping your child transition from one gender to another and change their name and teach them all about this sexually explicit stuff without your consent, which is happening in places all over the country, do you think they're going to care if you consent to them having this in school? The answer is no. A Jumanji-esque pursuit that uses a sliding pointer to spell out messages in a mysterious way. Created in the U.S. in 1886, Ouija boards have become a fixture in occult lore due to their alleged ability to communicate with the dead. You guys, this is no joke, man. The Bible says that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, and rulers and authorities in the unseen realm. Ephesians chapter 5. I want you guys to go and read that. Maybe it's Ephesians chapter 6. One of those two chapters. The point is, is that you and I, whether we like it or not, we have been ushered into a spiritual battle between good and evil, light and dark. And you and I have to make a decision. Are we going to stand up with light? Or are we going to passively partake in the fellowship with darkness. This is what it says in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 11 through 13. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather expose them, which is what the point of this video and this channel is. For it is shameful even to speak of those things which are done by them in secret. But all things that are exposed are made manifest by the light. For whatever makes manifest is Light. We're shining the light of Jesus on this because at the end of the day, Satan is underneath our feet as blood-bought, Holy Spirit-filled believers. Though we look and we're sober-minded and we're vigilant because he's a, a roaming lion seeking whom he can devour, we know that the blood of Jesus is more powerful than any power that Satan can muster up that's borrowed from God himself. But at the end of the day, you and I cannot be ignorant of his devices. We got to be armored up. We have to be armored up in the uh, gird up the loins of our mind. We need to be armored up in the word of God. We, we need to be armored up in prayer. And we need to stop saying yes to this stuff because your kids are on the line. Your community is on the line by saying yes to this demonic junk. Jeremiah 10 verse 2 says, Do not learn the ways of the Gentiles or the pagan nations. Do not be dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the Gentiles are dismayed at them. Meaning, don't get caught up in astrology. Stop looking for signs in the stars. Stop doing what all these people who don't follow Yahweh, the one true God, stop going down the path that they're going on. That path is the wide path, which leads to destruction. Many are going down it, and it's going to be a rough road for them at the end of this life. Go down the narrow path of following Jesus, which is difficult, but it leads to eternal life. And there's tremendous reward and blessing for doing it. Final verse I want to share with you. Deuteronomy 18 verse 9. When you come into the land, which the Lord your God is giving you, you shall not learn to follow the abominations of those nations. In general, here's what's really concerning to me. There is, there's such a boredom in the body of Christ where we feel like we have to go and we have to change the way that we worship and make church look a lot like the world. And, and let's kind of glean from them and how they do things. I, this is a trap. The Bible says that the church of Jesus Christ is called to be the head and not the tail, a city on a hill, not a lamp with a basket over it where we're not shining our light brightly. We're supposed to be a peculiar people that are blessed, that are favored, so that the world can look at us that live set apart and say there's something different about your life and the blessing of God is clearly on you. What is it that you have that we don't have? If we keep copying what the world is doing, it's going to be a really rough ride for the church in this season. But you and I, as followers of Jesus Christ, are called to be victorious, are called to prosper in everything that we do. We must 
reject having any fellowship with this stuff at all. We must, we cannot take something that as demonic as that and say, well, let's just put a Christian label on it and let's use it to glorify God. No. How about we follow what the Bible says about how to commune with God through the, through the relationship we have with Jesus Christ? Let's follow what the Bible says because the word of God says that in Psalm 1, if we meditate on his word and apply it and do it day and night, we will like be like a tree planted by the riverbed, bearing fruit in every season and our leaves will not wither and we will succeed in everything that we do. But we must reject partnership with this stuff. If you have a Ouija board in your house, if you have any occultic item, here's my challenge to you. Go and pray. Ask for the Holy Spirit to lead you through your home. Anything in your home that represents dark arts, the occult, witchcraft, anything, even the new age, have the Holy Spirit lead you through your home. He'll be faithful to do it. And he will highlight everything in your home that is an open door for the demonic to run rampant in your life. Take that item, throw it in the trash, burn it, don't sell it, don't get, pawn it off to somebody else, get rid of it, and there will be a reward of peace and prosperity in your home because you said yes to God. Guys, let me know what you think about this. Reject this, though. Reject this. I'm telling you to reject this, but let me know if you've seen other similar stories like this one with the 28 girls. Like we got to be more open about the spiritual warfare that is really taking place and going after this next generation. Amen. Final thing I want to point to you guys again, search or switch with cap.com. Go check this out. If you're interested in learning how to stop funding big box companies that are promoting and selling things like this, and you can make a big difference and you can make a better environment for your home by buying non-toxic, non-woke products that are made in America. Amen. Hey guys, subscribe to this video or subscribe to this channel. If you enjoyed this video, like it if you enjoyed it as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.